if you've written a lot of content or create a lot, um, what's my thoughts on repurposing it for different platforms? So for example, you've written a blog post. And as you probably notice, if you follow my, my content, I put my blog posts, I chop them up into 10 slides for Instagram, Instagram carousel posts. I'll kind of show you um, the different ways that I do it. So in, if you go to my Instagram profile, you will notice that I have um, 10 slide carousel posts. You know, this is this was originally a longer, uh, longer um, article, blog post that I chopped up for Instagram uh, into 10 slides. And I noticed that basically, if I make it under 4,000 characters, I seem to be able to fit my 10 slides at this font size that I like. That's font size is somewhere between 29 and 31. I usually do this on, on Canva. So that's how I do it on Instagram. On Facebook, how I do it is I, um, I you know, when I'm chopping it up for Instagram in, into a shorter version like this, I simply copy and paste it as a text-only post on, um, on, on, on Facebook. And it works really well, and I'll show you. So for example, look, look, look at these. Um, let me see if I can. These are getting really, none of these are using, um, none of these are using ads yet. I have not used boosts or ads on any of these posts. These are text only posts. There's no image, there's no link. It's just writing and it's reaching this many people organically. I only have 8,000 fans. This is reaching like a quarter of my audience organically without ads. That's how well my text only posts work. Why? Because I'm repurposing my best older blog posts. And if it's, if it's good, I know it's good because it got good reaction in the past. That's why it's spreading so well without using ads yet. You know, this is just an article. I chopped it up into Instagram slides and I put it here, copy and paste it as a text only post. So that's how I repurpose it on Facebook. And then in terms of um, LinkedIn, I, I put it on my company page. I'll show you here. The, the LinkedIn is more tricky because they have character limits for text-only posts that are quite strict. So for example, this one, I'll show you here. Um, the character limits on LinkedIn, I forgot what it was. It's something like 2,000 characters, something like that. So, uh, sorry. Um, so basically it's about this much writing. I can write this much. And then I say, see first comment below. And in the first comment below, I, I complete my, my writing. And this is, this is, again, the shorter version from after I've chopped it up for Instagram, I, I also put it here on LinkedIn. And once I put it on my company po page, I also share it to my, um, I also share it to my profile uh, from the company. The reason why I do the company page is then I can run LinkedIn ads. It requires a company page. So that's how I do it on LinkedIn. In terms of, uh, let's talk about video, right? I, whenever I um, repurpose an old blog post or whenever I write a new blog post, I always make a video uh, I do a Facebook Live because I'm a perfectionist. I'm a recovering perfectionist. So doing a Facebook Live, uh, and it, you know, I first do a Facebook Live, which is about, I do about 20 minutes. And then I do an Instagram Live between five and 10 minutes, a shorter one. I always do live videos because of my perfectionism. It's much easier to do one take. I know it's live and oh, there it is. It's, I don't want to keep re-recording re it. Some of you who have been part of my courses know that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more perfectionistic my course. Ah, oh, let me start that over, recording that over, right? So long story short, when I make a blog post, whether it's old or new, I record a video, Facebook Live and Instagram Live, longer on Facebook. And the longer, the longer video I upload to YouTube and the shorter video from Instagram, I also upload to YouTube several months later. I have a rhythm for that. It's just being organized with with your rhythm and, and using a spreadsheet, for example, to track. Okay, I haven't yet shared the shorter version to YouTube or something like that. So that's how I do it all. So therefore, I have longer blog posts. I have shorter writings that exist on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and I have videos on all the platforms as well. Now, I don't I don't do TikTok. Uh, once TikTok TikTok is in process of finally making a 10 minute video limit. And once TikTok goes to a 10 minute video limit, right now it's I think three minutes, but once they make 10 minutes available for everyone, then I'm gonna go go, uh, go on to TikTok again uh, and do that as well. And on Twitter, I should say Twitter, you can look me up on Twitter. Twitter is actually my very first step. When I have ideas for content, I start a Twitter thread just to dump my ideas out there. 
And if you, um, I will put the link below. And if I don't, if you don't see a link below, uh, please ask me about it because I probably forgot. But I will put a link below to my logic for, for using Twitter in that way. So anyway, I hope this is helpful and thank you for, thank you for asking.